Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. A pencil review today, looking at a pencil by Bic, a company not known necessarily for making pencils, although they do make a lot of disposable mechanical pencils, that's true. Uh, but this is a, well, I'm not going to call it a wood pencil because it's not. Uh, but it is a more traditional um, barreled pencil with a ferrule, with an eraser, and it is made by Bic in France. And let's see, you can, it, these are kind of um, a really nice a color, a sort of a seafoam green almost uh, and then they have uh, what looks to be an aluminum ish ferrule with a white eraser and a gold imprint so these pencils um, I purchased in Paris uh, last year when I was there and very inexpensive, sold at, I think I got them at um, the Monoprix, uh, which is like a little discount department store that they have throughout um, Paris. And uh, you get eight of them in this package. Uh, I don't remember how much this was. It wasn't much, I don't know, maybe it was a couple of euro. Um, and here, Bic Evolution, original, shock resistant, uh, the original, Echolutions, 50%. Um, and then down here you can see uh, HB slash number two. Here in the US it would be number two slash HB, but of course HB is more the uh, what Europeans are used to seeing in terms of uh, core grade for pencils. Eight pencils made in France. And uh, it's in this sort of bubble pack here, or blister pack rather, uh, on a card that hangs. Now they must sell these all over the world because on the back, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 different languages on the back with information about this pencil. Um, uh, so one of them happens to be uh, in English. And so for ease, I will read that one. And it is at the top. Wood-free graphite pencil, synthetic resin, re resin in parentheses, with an eraser end. No splinter if pencil breaks. Chew resistant, shock resistant, made of 50% uh, recycled material, percentage of the total weight of the product. The original Bic Evolution with the orange authenticity ring. So these are made of a synthetic resin, not made out of wood. Um, so there you go. So they are essentially a, a plastic pencil. Um, let's, let's get one out. They're pre-sharpened, by the way. Uh, so Let's see. Okay. Let's turn it this way so we can see what's going on here. Um, Bic Evolution HB barcode um, with a long number. Um, I don't know if that's a UPC number or an inventory number. Uh, and then it says France, just where they're made. 
and then it's here there's an, a, a, an imprint in the material 47040 uh, which looks like all the ones in this package are marked that that's probably the production run uh, for these pencils. Uh, it's got this ferrule at the end which actually it's hard to see um, but it does have a little bit of a contour to it where it goes in a couple of places and then it's got this white vinyl feels like anyways eraser so here's our pencil it's already sharpened let's get writing so we're going to do some writing here with this Bic Evolution HB um, number two pencil um, it is a hexagonal pencil so let me just say that um, fairly soft corners um, you can see it's a little pliable and that again this is not made out of wood this is a synthetic resin um, that's being used here Let me try it out and if you look at where the the resin and the core come together it might look white on the screen there's a line there it's actually yellow so that is a little yellow ring uh, that is around the center of the barrel and I guess that's a, a big thing to let you know this is the real deal so let's um let's put something on paper here Bick. Well, okay, we had a little, I guess the, the, the core is not break resistant. Uh, it's the uh, barrel itself that seems to be shock resistant perhaps, but Something about these pencils, these pencils that are made of these resins or alternative materials, um, they feel weird. Uh, and I think it's because they bend a little bit. They're not as rigid as a wood pencil. And as I grip it, I can feel the pencil move in my hand, the barrel, and um, I don't really particularly like that. Uh, it does write fairly smoothly. It is quiet. Um, Something that interests me, since I broke the point, let's put a new one on here and see how this sharpens in a sharpener here. Okay. So we've got a new point on it. It seemed to sharpen okay. It's got this weird little I'm going to call it a hangnail. Um, yeah, this material, it's very porous too when you look at it. Uh, you can see a million little 
a little holes in it. And maybe that's by design. Maybe that's they're trying to to simulate wood or something. I'm not sure. Um, there goes the tip again. Yeah. Uh, is this an HB number two? I guess in terms of darkness, I'm pressing really hard on the paper just so that you know. Does not smudge much at all. Very little smudge drag with this pencil. Um, they gave us an eraser. Let's try it. Uh, okay. Better than I expected. Not too bad. Um, here is a, a Mepid uh, Mini Softy. Uh, I want to use this first. This, uh, this eraser was made in France, like the pencil. And I thought, well, let's just pair up a French eraser and a French pencil and see what happens. Well, pretty good. Uh, probably a, a skosh better than the uh, eraser that came with the pencil. Well, try a German eraser now. Pretty good. Pink Pearl. All right, uh, Hartmuth, natural rubber eraser. What else do we have? Uh, Milan. And we've got the art gum. Well, uh, of all the erasers, including the one attached, they all did a decent enough job. Um, there's a little shadowing left. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but um, not a lot. Just maybe four, maybe five percent. You know, I'll give it a A minus B plus on the erasing factor. Let's do some writing. Um, I haven't measured it, 
my hand is starting to get a little fatigued and I don't know if it's uh, I, again it's there's something about the, the the bendability of this barrel that uh, for me as a, a writer with a fairly heavy hand um, it is is bothersome Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I I think that some people may like uh, a pencil like this um, I again it writes okay it writes again it's fairly smooth it's a quiet pencil um, I did find that the I thought the core uh, it broke on me twice um, uh, only you know when it was really pointed after being freshly sharpened but um i didn't like that it erases well uh, that's a plus but um you know it's it, it again these these synthetic uh pencils uh non-wood pence barreled pencils i just um i guess i'm old school i don't know i guess i just they're, they're just not for me um, and I don't, I really don't like this flexible barrel at all. That really bothers me because it does, when I hold it, my thumb bends it and, and, uh, that actually ends up creating a little fatigue, um, in my hand. I can feel it. So, um, I guess, you know, different strokes for different folks. Um, these won't be a pencil that I will use um, for, you know, any kind of extensive writing. Uh, but um, I always love trying a new pencil. And I appreciate you spending some time with me as I tried this BIC Evolution HB. We'll see you next time here on Always Analog.